Anthony Hartwig here with a Western Reserve Volleyball Coach's Corner and a season preview joined by head coach Chrissy Hughes. Coach, thank you so much for taking the time to join us today. Thank you for having us. You got it. And uh, we'll start with this kind of a meet the team segment. I'll give you the time to go through your roster, tell us some of the big names that you're going to feature this year and maybe some new faces that Western Reserve should know before the season starts. Yeah, so we have four returning seniors, um, Lisa Eichert, Olivia Hughes, Angelina Capuanka, and Allie Jones. Um, we have uh, a junior setter, Haley Fellows. Uh, we have a sophomore setter, Quincy Miller. And then I have some upcoming juniors as well that's going to be a big part of our game, which is Daylin Brown. She's a junior. Abby Blair, which is also a junior. And Isabella Morrow, she's a junior as well. When you look at your roster and you hear all those names, there's a lot of experience coming back, a lot of upperclassmen. What's that going to do for this team to be um, having a lot of volleyball varsity experience on the floor whenever you want it uh, in, uh, during the season? Yeah, absolutely. I do think that is um, a good thing. I feel like it's a lot of pressure as well. I feel like they feel a little bit playing, you know, my seniors for three, um, four years on a varsity court. Uh, so I, you know, we try to go back to one point at a time, one day, like the way to run it and to keep us positive and energetic. A lot of these seniors aren't new to leadership, aren't new to having their name in the limelight. They've been successful at a lot of things they've done, but this is it. Like this is their time to be the leaders of the team, the captains. Um, how have you seen them handle that so far in the preseason, the summer, just stepping up as senior leaders and trying to really get this team where it needs to be. Yes, absolutely. All four of them play a good role. Um, I feel like our team demise is our enthusiasm. I don't know if it's like from past experience, this is the way it should be, get it done. Um, so we're working on that. And I have a few of them definitely stepping up to that role. Um, also, you know, I feel like they understand too, this is it. So uh, a couple of their goals that we already said at the beginning of the season was, hey, play this like it's your last time playing. Let's talk about your schedule as well. We'll have to start in the conference because it's a really good one. In the MVAC, Scarlet here, you have a lot of teams that could be vying for the top spot. Talk about the conference, what it's like being in it, and what you expect out of it this year. Yeah, as always, we definitely have uh, some great competition coming. Um, Mineral Ridge, you know, the top team last year, definitely is coming back strong. Uh, we play them second game, so definitely a great challenge to start off with. Um, and then I know McDonald definitely never quitters. They definitely uh, work hard. So that's going to be another battle. Jackson Milton, we we had we played them this summer. They're just constantly moving, never letting that ball fall. Um, I haven't seen Lowville, but I've heard Lowville had a big numbers this year. So again, always something to reckon with in our league. Um, we definitely have a tough league, and I'm looking forward to that competition. And then when you venture out of the conference, I know you put together a schedule that will really test you and prepare you for the tournament when you get there. Uh, who are some teams outside of the conference that you're really excited to play and, and test your team against? Yeah, so this year we actually picked up Poland, which never played them before, so that's our first game of the season. Um, definitely look at for that. We picked up Liberty. Um you know, I feel like they're they're a little bit strong, too. We lost a couple teams that I'm a little disappointed in. Um, we tried to get them, but just didn't work out this year. Um, but I feel like we filled in with the, uh, those those two as well. You brought up Poland, which means we have to talk about it. Not only is it the first game of the season, but it is, of course, a little bit of a sibling uh, – not sibling, but a family rivalry with mother versus daughter and, and Aaliyah, the head coach over there at Poland, and – and you're, you're taking up the Western Reserve coaching. What's that going to be like to to play each other? I know you scrimmaged last year, right? So you, you have a little bit of taste of going up against each other, but now it counts. What's right. that going to be like? We actually just scrimmaged last Saturday. So like I said, um, it, it's good competition. We do help each other out. Hey, did you see this girl? She was doing this. And then she'll give me some tips on my team because we both want to be successful for our teams. Um, yeah, it'll be competitive. But, you know, what we both want, we, we don't want to go out there. We want to be competitive. We want to play hard. So definitely it'll be a little bit of fun. We'll, we'll see. We got 
you know, we got that competition down there and I know it's, it's a big deal, but you know, I'm proud of her for what she's done over there. And I know my other daughter coaches with me, so it's definitely a big family, big family rivalry right now. I'm sure there are uh, other ways that your family has stayed competitive inside the family unit, whether it be like game nights or backyard sports. What are some other things that maybe you and Aaliyah have competed in in the past uh, as part of a family? Yeah, so um, Aaliyah and uh, my husband as well, they love these backyard games. So we have some spike ball. We have a tennis ball spike ball. We have the volleyball net. We also have just – um, you know, the backyard games that they play all the time and it's always a competition. So every time we have an event, whether it's just a week, we're playing cornhole or we're, but it's always competitive. It's going to be another backyard brawl with uh, <laughs> right. Thanksgiving table bragging rights on the line. Okay. Uh, it's going to be a great, great game. Um, when you talk about this summer, though, preparing for that first game, which is Poland, you know, you, you've been working hard. Now you have a couple of weeks, you know, left of scrimmages and just, you know, time, fine, time, uh, fine tuning everything. Um, what do you want out of these last couple of weeks of preseason before you get to that first game against Poland? Yeah, we, we've been really working on some blocking, making sure that we can play some, you know, blocks and, and tips off the block and hustling after every ball. So, you know, we've, as coaches that a little bit of challenge with our kids, like we don't want that ball to hit the ground. I know you think it's out of your touch, but we're trying to get them that confident to keep going after every play because we, like you said, we have a lot of experience and with experience comes, Hey, that ball's out of my sight. I'm not going to make that diving play, but we're trying to get it into their heads that, yeah, you can make that miracle play and fight hard for every single ball. So I definitely think um, we've worked on that a lot. Just work on our kid, our hitting connections. You know, we have two new setters this year again that are, you know, weren't dominantly last year. They did get in last year here and there. But that setter hitter connection, we're definitely working on that to prepare for the season um, just so we can have some camaraderie between those setters and hitters. Um, that's been our main focus, I could say. I know we also have been scrimmaging some big teams. On Tuesday, we scrimmaged Crestview, which I feel like is – who a number one strongest team in this whole area. I don't care what division that you are, but they are tough. And it was a great scrimmage. We scrimmaged Canfield. We scrimmaged Ursuline. Um, so we definitely are preparing that way. Tomorrow we have a big scrimmage against East Liverpool, which I know definitely has some talent coming back. And, um, you know, it'll be a, a great workout for us. Having all that experience can be a double-edged sword for the program's future. Because, of course, after this year, They'll, they'll be graduating and you'll have to find ways to replace those four great seniors. So I want to ask about the young kids coming into this program, the sophomores, the freshmen, and what they're doing in the summer so far that you're seeing to really, you know, get themselves into this program and, and be the next big names after your big four seniors graduate next year. Yes, absolutely. So I know I mentioned some of the juniors. They've definitely have been stepping up and we need them. We have great, they're great blockers. They're great hitters. So I know um, we have Daylin Brown, Abby Blair. They're back again. Isabella Morrow, she's a junior. She um, has come to us this year. So I know she'll be definitely um, somebody to step up those places. She's doing a great job for us as well. Um, I do have some sophomores. And some freshmen, they're working hard. I have two freshman setters that are definitely putting time and energy in. So I know that they're going to help us out as long as my sophomore setter, who is playing varsity as well right now. So definitely working them in to show some replacements. Um, we're working on our hitting down there. I have um, Chloe Ensley, who's a freshman. She's going to be a, a pretty good middle coming up. Um, Elena Ward is a sophomore. She's definitely another taller middle that can help us out later. Um, I also have a couple of juniors that are going to be in betweeners. Um, so I, I, I'm excited to see them play a couple a little bit here and there to get that experience. Amanda Hamilton, this is only her second year out, but whoa, she's like 300% improved since last year and she's a hard worker. So I'm definitely looking forward to her improvements and see how she could help our team out. And then Lauren Steed is also a junior. She is definitely um, moving well, um, playing back row for us a little bit. I hope to get her into some of the varsity games. So again, so we could have that experience be replaced next year. 
we know in volleyball especially communication and team chemistry are so important and that's what the summers are for before august 1st before those mandatory practices start a lot of camps a lot of team bonding uh, what kind of things did you guys do this summer to build that team chemistry up uh, to this point where it's at now yeah so we went to just a couple uh you know, open gyms with some other teams. We did the Cedar Point thing again. This time we actually spent an extra day there. So we were there Wednesday through Saturday, which was like a big event. Um, they had a good time. They played well. Um, you know, we have some riders, some not riders. They found the beach. They found some beach volleyball there. Um, and, you know, that was, that was a great experience for the kids in the hotel as well as, you know, working out and, and playing volleyball. We definitely don't have a lock-in again. That seems to be the team favorite. So we'll find a time to sleep over Friday night after a football game, do some team camaraderie all night, and then we'll be able to uh, finish, you know, with some t little picnics that we're planning as well. Uh, are you on the writer side or are you a not writer side on that Cedar Point trip? Do they try to drag you on the roller coasters? Oh, I'm definitely a rider. One hundred. Yes. I love it all. I'm not surprised at all. Which one was your favorite? Uh, my favorite ride there is the Millennium Force. I just mm. feel fast and smooth. So, you know, in my old age, that little shit, <laughs> the fast and smooth I'm still good with. Coach, I also want to give you the time to highlight your coaching staff and all the people behind the scenes that are making this Western Reserve program exactly how good it is. Yeah, so my uh, assistant, or we just have a JV coach, Alexis Hughes, she does bring a ton of experience, and I'm glad to have her. She gives me a different look on the team that I really need at a lot of times. Um, I have an eighth grade coach, Morgan Eichert. So she's actually Lisa's sister. So she has some good experience, and this is the first time her kind of running that junior high program. And brand new coach to our coaching staff is Nicole Watts, and she's going to be our seventh grade coach. Our seventh grade team, they have put a lot of time in already. They've been to camps all summer long. They've been to all kinds of things. So I'm definitely looking forward to those middle school teams coming up to help our program well, along as well. Um, these kids seem to love it, and they're excited. Um, it's so fun to watch those younger kids develop. Eichert, Hughes, you're just keeping everything in the families. You know, it's, it's got to be that way. Uh, we talked about what it's going to be like coaching against Aaliyah, but what is it like for you to be able to have – your other daughter, Alexis, on your staff and to be able to work with her every day and to pick her great volleyball brain as she was a great player in her own right. Uh, what's that been like for you in, in that experience? Yeah, it's amazing. Like I said, um, you know, I'm old school. I've been around for a long time. So those fresh eyes, those different plays, those different ideas, um, it, I couldn't really do it without her. Um, and I know sometimes we'll even talk with Aaliyah, all three of us, talking about, oh, gosh, I can't get this girl to do this. Do you have any drills? Do you have any hits? So definitely talk as a family. So my husband chimes in every once in a while. He likes to know that he's helping us out, too. But um, all three of us, I feel like we help each other out. Um, they help me, I think, a little more than I help them. But, you know, just the different drills, the different things that can help these kids become better players. And all in all, that's what we want. We want all these kids to learn, have fun. Mm -hmm feel like they've improved every step of the way. Normally at the end of these, we give the coach a chance to give the fans what when, when their first game is, but we already talked about that. August 21st at Poland, the first time you can see Western Reserve on the floor. Is that second game? Is that your home opener against uh, against Middle Ridge? Is that home? No, we are away as well. Okay, so you're uh, road warriors to start. When's your first home game? Our first game is that Thursday against Heartland Christian. There you go. So if you're not going to travel with the team, which there's no reason why you shouldn't, but if you're not going to, their first home game will be that Thursday against Hurtland Christian. Make sure to get out there and see the Blue Devils in action. Coach, we thank you so much for taking the time to come on and give us a season preview. We wish you the best of luck this year. We can't wait to talk to you in real soon. All right. I'm excited for the season, and thank you so much for all you do for these kids.